Hi, I'm Justin Rosso, and today we're going to be talking about Chapter 11, God's Word Propels Your Adventure, in the recent book from Next Step Press. All right, what we've got going on today is some fresh asparagus with a little olive oil and roast garlic and herb. And then I've had these pork ribs in all day. And uh, I like to baste my ribs in, in actually in Dr. Pepper. It gives it a really good flavor. Uh, got a little flare up there. I'm gonna actually put the fire out. Oh boy, cook it. I think the Dr. Pepper adds a, little, a really nice caramel flavor to the sweetness too. The real secret to these pork ribs, now I don't do this for the kids, A, because it's too expensive, and B, it's a little too spicy for them, but there's this secret sauce from a place called Twin Anchors, restaurant and tavern, it's in Chicago, and the sauce is called Prohibition. It's got just a little hint of ghost pepper in it, brown sugar up front, this is the secret sauce. You can't get it anywhere except at Twin Anchors restaurant and bar. Uh, tavern there in Chicago, Illinois. We have them brought in from our cousins that live in Illinois. It's a special treat to have pork ribs like that. So we're gonna get a nice caramel glaze on these and then they'll be ready to take in. Of course, you're wondering by now what Dr. Pepper glazed pork ribs have to do with God's word. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Uh, the Bible talks a lot about God's Word as if it were food. There are places in both the Old and the New Testament where God's people are, for example, wandering in the wilderness. And uh, God provides manna for his people in the wilderness. And the manna was something, it looked like coriander, the Bible says, but it tasted sweet like honey. It was nourishment along the way, but it was also good to eat. It was a delight to eat. It was delicious even. Uh, the people got sick of it. But they learned there in the wilderness that we as human beings don't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes out of the mouth of God. It's a Deuteronomy passage that Jesus cites at the temptation. Jesus clings to the word of God. Jesus himself is the word of God. In fact, in John chapter 6, Jesus says, amazingly, your forefathers received bread from heaven in the wilderness, but I have come as the true bread that comes down from heaven to give life to the world. Jesus was saying, you can't survive one day without being dependent on something to eat. But the kind of food that Jesus had in mind was not just kind of bland, plug your nose and take your medicine kind of stuff. The thing Jesus had in mind was a delicious feast worthy of banquets of kings and princesses. As we go to God's word, we see in that word something that sustains us, something that we need to live, something we need every day to survive, and yet more than that, we see a delight, a, a secret recipe, something you can get nowhere else, a, a place where God comes to us. Jesus, who is the Word, is delivered in the Word itself so that the presence of God, God becomes ha, a delight, a delicious feast, a banquet for princesses and kings. I'm Justin Rosso, and I got some grilling to do. I'll see you next time at Next Step Press. This video is brought to you by Next Step Press. We help you take a next step. If you'd like information on becoming a Next Step patron, or you'd like to read more about our book, Delight, Discipleship as the Adventure of Loving and Being Loved, check out www.findmynextstep.org.